I was moved to do something a little different this week with the videos. No, I'm not by any means done with my series exposing the Popes of Rome, but when I saw some things happening back in April, it moved me to share a warning about something all of us need to be ready for. But I was also being moved to wait just a little longer before sharing that what was becoming very obvious to me. Had I shared what I wanted to share back then, not many people would have understood what was being revealed. But now you would have to be totally blind to not see what's happening out there. And so the timing is right. This information that I came across regarding the coming events regarding access to food and other goods confirmed what I already knew, but I was waiting for confirmation so as to warn the brethren when the timing was perfect. All that I found reminded me of a prophetic statement made by someone that the Jesuits and the Roman Catholic Church have been using all of their wicked church and political powers to make her look like a false prophet for the last 107 years. Reason being is, when this woman was alive, she was moved by the Lord to graphically expose the popes of the Roman Catholic Church as Antichrist. And yes, I am speaking of Ellen White. Due to her prophetic statements and her unmatched ability to lock down prophetic scripture regarding Antichrist with real historic record, the Pope of Rome got very upset and moved his Jesuit henchmen to infiltrate the Seventh-day Adventist Church so as to get a hold of her books to rewrite them with the sole purpose of making her appear as a false prophet, a plagiarist, and even a witch. For those of you that want proof of what I just said, see this stack of videos I posted some time ago, as well as this growing stack of books, wherein you can compare her original writings as they were before the Seventh-day Adventist leaders rewrote them under Vatican direction. Better yet, since many of us, myself included, prefer to have book in hand, go to vbates.com, which is the only safe place on earth that I know of where the original writings of Ellen White have been protected in a vault as well as photocopied cover to cover since the mid-1950s. And as you may know, photocopying the books made it impossible to edit them. When you hold the original books up alongside the new ones the apostate SDA church sells today, you're going to see just how much has been removed from those books and even added to the books that she wrote back in the 1800s. She wrote those books to warn the people of God in the last days regarding what Rome was going to do right before the plagues hit. And so it's obvious as to why they rewrote them. And so why did I share all that? Well, it has to do with one of many of her prophetic statements that outline what was to happen after she died, which was in 1915. That being the case, how many of us have seen the articles regarding inflation and empty store shelves in America today? Some stores have even gone so far as to try to hide the fact their shelves are empty. Ellen White actually prophesied not too long before she died about certain events that you will not find in the Bible, but you will find have been fulfilled to the letter since her death, confirming her to be a real prophet. This is why Rome focused on her books and did all they could to rewrite them, as well as slander her character so as to hide the truth she uncovered about the Roman Catholic Church, as well as the United States political machine that Rome has complete control over and has had this control for literally decades. When you hear what she stated back in 1899, with your actual memory still intact regarding what we have seen with our own two eyes the last two years, and especially the last few months, you too will understand why the Lord moved the prophet Joel to declare in the last days that your daughters shall prophesy. Check out what she said in 1899. It's actually beginning to happen as we speak. She said this, The moneyed men, and we all know who that is, right? The ones with the money, the elite. The moneyed men, because they have the power, control the market. They purchase at low rates all they can obtain and then sell at greatly increased prices. This means starvation to the poorer classes and will result in a civil war. There will be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered. Every one that shall be found written in the book, many shall be purified and made white and tried. But the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. But 
the wise shall understand. Who are the wise that understand, you ask? They are the obedient people of God that study the Scripture and pray daily so as to keep their lamps trimmed and not be caught off guard. Thank you for watching. God bless.